Hi everybody. Some people are interested in the littlest details. So I thought I'd make a real quick video here just showing you how I make a manual for a game. Alright, so what I got here is the art is the guillotine, which is a very sharp scissor thingy. And this is the front. This is the cover and the inside cover for Arcadian. Arcadian is 12 pages long, so that's going to be three sheets of paper. Each pa each piece of paper has four pages. So I print them two up. That's the cover, back cover, inside, front and back cover. Then I take in the guillotine and I slice them in half. Don't have to be exactly perfect because I'm going to trim later. Then I'm going to do the same with the other parts of the manual also. Now, I move things a little bit here. Now I have page one, two, three, the, the, first, the first sheet inside of the manual. And I'm going to cut that one too. Same thing. I try to make it as clean cut as possible. But as I said, once it's all bound together, I will then, in turn, will trim the edges to square it all off and make them look nice and pretty. So now I'll do those. Okay, and then we had the final piece, which is the centerfold. Nice big pretty picture of the Arcadian. And again, we gotta do the same thing. Gotta cut them all down to five and a half inches tall. And then once we're done with that, then we put them all together. Alright, now we got them all separated into the or cut to correct sizes in a pile in order. I break out my old swing line. This I picked up at a thrift store. This is a book binding stapler. You can bind something up to two, actually up to three foot wide. Uh, not three foot, um, 13 inches wide. Two foot, two inches. It's got a little guide here, which I have the guide set at four and a quarter, which is half of eight and a half. So you take three pages, put them together like that, tap them in, put them in face down. One, two, fold on the staple. And it's done. Now you see the edge is a little rough there. I will go back in with the guillotine and I'll trim these up and these will look very, very nice. So I only got, what, another 99 more to do here. And this is the second one of them. I already did a box full of 100. It's taking about a half hour to do this. And then once you get done, then I said then I would take an arrow, run them through the guillotine and straighten them up. And I'll show you that now. So let's move these out to the side here and I'll show you how I straighten them up. I won't pause for that, but I'll just go live. Bring the guillotine back out here. And what I do to straighten these up to make them nice and purdy is you take your thing. This is my straight edge. I'm going to put that in there and I'm just going to trim maybe a... Now when I design these, I, on purpose I designed them. I left a quarter inch of white bleed all around so that when I went back in the trim I would not touch any printing. So, trim, trim, looks nice and clean now. Now they won't all be exactly the same, one may be a few millimeters in size different than the others, but it's not as if you're going to have multiples sit there to compare them to and say, why is this one a fraction of a size off? But see? Very nice. And that's how I make a manual for Arcadian. That's how I made them for Turmoil and for CCR. Now with Turmoil and CCR, I didn't allow for that quarter inch of white space around it, so I had to be very careful in my trimming. But I learned. And with our, I mean, yeah, terminal C sure. With Arcadian, I made sure I allowed for that. In future ones, I will allow for that too. So, we have a manual. All done. Nice little Arcadian centerfold in the middle. Have a good day.